Hi, my name is Artur and I have come here to teach you some basic Polish. The first and most important word we are going to learn today is kurwa. Kurwa can mean many different things, which is just freaking marvelous, because it means knowing this word allows you to communicate on a basic level with the majority of Polish population. Kurwa literally means bitch, or slut, or any other negative name for a prostitute. You can use it as that, but this is only the beginning. The most popular meaning and usage of the word kurwa is something along the lines of fuck. When using kurwa in this meaning, people most often add match and say kurwa match. Match is an old way of saying mother in Polish. No one uses that in this way anymore, so don't bother. So for example, you're walking down the street when suddenly a car drives by through a puddle splashing water all over you. Kurwa match! Which would be similar to Holy hell! What the fuck? Come on! I'm gonna rape your fucking firstborn, you prick! Come back here! So you see, adding the word match to kurwa adds some sort of exclamation mark to your sentence. If you are one of those people who, instead of getting mad, keep their emotions on the inside for the most part, you might just look at yourself, take a deep breath and say... Kurwa. Shit. Let's move on. Let's say you're on a party and one of your drunk friends takes off his pants and tries to take a piss in the corner. And you wanna say, what the fuck are you doing? Co ty kurwa robisz? This is the most basic translation of the sentence. It puts emphasis on what the fuck is actually happening right now. Now depending on where you put the word kurwa within this sentence, it may have a slightly different meaning. Kurwa, co ty robisz? Firstly, you express your irritation at what is about to happen, and then politely ask for the purpose of your friend's action in order to restart his consciousness and hopefully stop the act before it's too late. Co ty robisz, kurwa? You are the owner of the apartment and you are worried about your carpet. So you ask your friend what he's doing and add kurwa to make it sound more threatening. Let's move on to another example. You are walking down the street and you see a T-Rex eating preschool children. Holy shit! Is what you say. In Polish, oh kurwa. Notice how we've added o before kurwa this time. While adding match after kurwa makes you sound more pissed off. Adding o before kurwa expresses your shock at what you're seeing. Now the tone of your voice may influence the meaning too. A couple of examples. Realizing the dinosaur saw you and is now going in your direction. Oh kurwa! Expressing your admiration when finding out that your friend can, in fact, drink a whole bottle of vodka in one go. Oh kurwa! Expressing your joy at the fact that your wife has just given birth. Oh kurwa! Oh kurwa! Haha, <laughs> kurwa! Expressing your disgust when watching two girls one cup. Oh kurwa! Oh kurwa! Kurwa is also commonly used as a coma in a sentence. People who use it this way are mostly pissed off at life in general and do little more than complain. Let me give you an example. This will be a football fan whose team has just lost a match. Kurwa, ja pierdolę, kurwa, no ja kurwa pierdolę, pizda kurwa chuj. Ciebie to kurwa, nie pierdolę kurwa ten telewizor przy No i pokażę kurwa tym banym kurwa kurwa, że nie będę kurwa oglądał takich kurwa bzdur. Kurwa. Which translates to something along the lines of Fuck! Fuck it, kurwa! Kurwa, fuck it, fuck! Kurwa, fuck! Fuck it, kurwa! I'ma throw away, kurwa, this TV out the fucking window and show these kurwa fucking bitches that I ain't gonna kurwa watch this kurwa bullshit! Kurwa! Finally, there is an advanced technique of using the word kurwa in the middle of other words. It takes a lot of practice to not fuck it up, but once you master it, your grandchildren will put a portrait of your face on their goddamn wall. Let's say you wanna say awesome. Awesome in Polish is zajebiste, although the Polish counterpart is slightly more vulgar and probably shouldn't be used during your meetings with the president or worse, your mother. Now to say fucking awesome and sound fucking awesome while saying that, you put kurwa in the middle of the word. What you get is zaje kurwa biście. Your street credit at this point goes through the roof. And that's it for the beginner's guide to the word kurwa. Obviously, there's still a lot to learn, so if you want to learn more to be able to understand your immigrant friends when they're talking behind your back in a foreign language, subscribe to this channel. I'll be back. Probably.